guys, I am running so late. I drove to the airport instead of Ubering, and it's really, really busy, even though it's like super early in the morning. I forgot that I have a real bag, not a carry-on, so I had to go back downstairs and check in my bag, but everything's fine. We're going through free check right now. I'm supposed to board in 10 minutes, so cutting it close per usual. airport fit check you guys know me good one piece little zipper jacket some sneakers that's all to the lounge and now I'm power walking to my gate. My gate just happens to be like in the most weird random part of the airport so I'm out of breath. We're gonna make it on time. Next time you guys see me, well we'll take the flight but then I'll see you guys in Peru. such a long travel day like I literally left Vegas at 7 was my flight and it did leave on time but I had to leave for the airport at like 5 o'clock I drove there could not find parking for the life of me and so when I walked in I was so distracted and like disheveled that I forgot that I needed to check in my bag because normally when I travel especially when it's less than a week I just have a carry-on but this time around I had a checked bag because I just didn't want to have to smush everything into my carry-on. And so anyway, I went all the way through TSA pre-check and then I had to go back to check in the bag because I realized when it was going through, I'm like, why is my bag so big? And I was like, ew. <laughs> so then I went back to check it in. And by then it was already like 610 and boarding was at like 625. And so I had to do that really quickly. And then I was like, power walking to get there. And it was just a lot going on. So thank goodness I made the flight because obviously if I would have missed that first leg to Miami, then I would have missed the Miami to Peru. Everything would have been all bad. So we made it. That's all that matters. The flight was good on both uh, legs of the flight. I did get to eat. I'm not really hungry right now. It's 1014 in Peru. <laughs> it's basically central time. I don't know why in my brain I thought I was going to be on a completely different time zone, even though I'm two hours ahead of Vegas. It's nothing crazy. Like when I go to the East Coast to visit my family, it's three hours. So it's not that big of a deal. So game plan. <laughs> The game plan is that we don't have one. This is very much on brand for me. Go to another country, no itinerary, no nothing. All I do know is that for this trip, I want to definitely spend more time doing, you know, tour, well, maybe not necessarily tours, but like museums, shows, more of the cultural aspect. They do have a beach here. My room is overlooking the beach. And so that'll be cool. Maybe I'll like go dip my toes in the water, but I don't really feel like spending this trip bumming it on the beach i already did that while i was in mexico so i feel like the best use of my time and the way to get the most out of the trip is to you know really immerse myself in the culture and the food honey because one thing about it everything i've ever read about peru is that the food is exquisite so i cannot wait to try all the things they have this drink here it's like a purple drink it's made out of corn i can't remember what it's called if you're from peru you know what i'm talking about 
Y'all know what I'm talking about. So when I try it, I'm definitely going to show you guys and tell you how I feel about it. What else am I excited to try? Of course, some Peruvian chicken. I'm gonna have some lomo saltado and whatever else is local here. I heard the bread is really good. I don't know, I don't know. I'm here for the eats. So very excited to try all of the food. There's actually someone that I went to college with who was in Lima or is in Lima, I'm not quite sure, but she had made a post and I sent her a message. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna be there next week. Do you have any suggestions? So she sent me this list of activities and restaurants and stuff like that. So I'll probably take a look at that and then I have a couple other recommendations so tomorrow i think we should make it our goal to go to a museum that'll be fun and go maybe to like the boardwalk area a little bit of shopping and i do need to book something for the spa nothing is planned except for good food and the spa i mean it is what it is i think i'm gonna get reflexology and maybe a body scrub and also a massage so i'll get all of that booked tomorrow i think if i go to bed early tonight that i can wake up at a decent hour get my day started bright and early and that's it so i'm i'm happy that i'm here i'm grateful that i made it safe and sound I already FaceTime my mama to tell her that I'm safe. I do that every place I go. And that is all, you guys. Good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, you guys. It's about 9 a.m., which is really 7 a.m. for me in Vegas. So it's a little bit early, but it is all good. The weather right now, it's like 75. It's not super sunny. It's like a little overcast outside, but it is what it is. I'm about to get ready for the day. I'm gonna go plan what I want to do. And then also I need to book my massage. When I go downstairs, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight. And then I will probably just go to the downtown area. Again, try to hit a museum or whatever. So time to just get myself ready. Uh, you know, when you wake up and you know you gotta like get it together, but your body is like not moving as fast as your brain. spend too much time on this but just wanted to show you what we're working with of course I got ready for bed last night so it's not looking perfectly perfect but there's not too too much to see here this room is pretty simplistic it's clean though and for me what I really care about is if it's clean is it modern and it checks those boxes so that's that and then the real star of the show is the fact that it is oceanfront it's this long long highway I'm not sure what it connects or where it goes or anything like that but i'm looking at the water it doesn't really seem like water you would want to swim in if i'm being honest and the reason that i say that is because it's <laughs> kind of brown and when i'm looking at the actual beach itself oh i can't zoom in because of the like the lens that i have on here but trust if i zoomed in you guys would be able to see there's like rocks on the can you see like right there so uh, yeah maybe it's a good thing that i didn't really plan to do the beach on this trip <laughs> this is the dress that i want to wear today i've had this dress for probably like a year or so i'm pretty sure i got it from zara let me check the tag yeah it's from zara i like the dress when i put it on i will tell you what my problem is with it and the reason why i haven't worn it but i just feel like it gives peru you know it's like flowy on the bottom and all of that good stuff problem is though while it was in my luggage it's super wrinkly i asked the hotel for a steamer because i didn't bring mine for the simple fact that this is the only thing i need to steam and it just felt like a waste of space so i'm going to steam that and i'll put it on so you guys can see this steamer is so freaking tiny, like there's this much water. I'm gonna have to refill it 10 times, I already know. Which is very annoying, but we do what we need to do. Plug it in. Oh, this is annoying. I think you have to, oh, never mind. Never mind, false alarm. I was gonna say, I think you have to keep on pushing the button in order for it to work, but that's not true. Is it? It is. You have to literally push the button for it to steam, okay? And there's no like lock option. 
Okay, the dress is steamed. I'm gonna put it on and show you the reason I haven't worn it. I should have gotten it altered. I didn't, so it is what it is. I still like the dress. As I was saying, I still like the dress, especially from the back, just because of the flow of it all again, but the front, y'all gonna see in a sec. The first time I put this dress on, it fit kind of tight. I have been eating well, so I feel like I've lost a couple pounds, and so it does fit easier now, which is good. So here's what I don't like about this dress. Like this top part, it's wide right here and really it should be kind of like this. You get what I'm saying? Like for a little bit more of a fitted look. So I don't love that, but look at the back. I've got flat sandals and this little bag. I think I got this from Spain actually when I was in Sevilla or maybe it was in Barcelona, but that's where I got this and these earrings I got from Amazon. I feel like this would be a good compliment. It's like the same rattan material or rattan, however you say it. Okay. There's nothing in here yet. I have to transfer all my stuff over, but you know, this is the outfit. Uh, the reason that I'm struggling to show you everything is because I forgot my tripod at home. I have my little like handheld one for the vlog camera, but I forgot the tall tripod. I wish I had it because then I would have more flexibility, but right now you guys are on the desk and I have to keep you there because that's the only way that it'll be tall enough. Um, but yes, this is the outfit for first day in Peru. I've got a lot that I need to do today. Well, need to do. We're on vacation. I don't need to do anything per se, but there's a lot that I want to do, but this is it. Oh, you know what? I have no jewelry on. That's why I look so naked. Let me put on a little bit of lotion and then I'm gonna put on the jewelry and then we'll look put together. Yeah, I was like, why do I look on a plane? So I've never actually showed you guys my everyday jewelry, but I have this Cartier ring. I normally wear these two pieces from Van Cleef. This is the necklace in gold, and then I have a bracelet in white gold. So I'm gonna put those on. This is like what I wear every single day. At first it was really, really hard to take on and off my Van Cleef jewelry because the clasps are really tiny. And I prefer jewelry that I don't have to take off ever because I wanna be able to shower with it, go in the water with it. But you're not supposed to get these wet because they're made out of mother and pearl, that's the material. And mother of pearl can get damaged when you wet it because the mother of pearl is like a stone and it can shrink and contract and it can cause it to crack. So to have your jewelry last as long as possible, you are supposed to take it off and not get it wet. And it was really hard for me to do this, but I've <laughs> been wearing them for so long that now I'm pretty good at doing it, even with longer nails. And then this is a um, bracelet from Louis. I've had this for a while. I like it because it's brown, you know, it's like pretty neutral. You can wear it with anything. Okay, now we're looking like we're ready to go somewhere. Oh, and a pair of shades, I feel like, not really. Sunglasses are cool, but I feel like it makes the outfit more I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but I don't know. I just feel like I don't need sunglasses for this outfit. It is sunny outside, so maybe I'll bring a pair, but I'm not gonna like use it as an accessory. Hey guys, we are by the water, it's so beautiful. And I decided what we're doing today. We are in fact going to the museum. I booked the entry between 1 and 3 p.m. and it's about a 25-ish minute drive from where I am now. So I'm just gonna walk a little bit around here, kind of close to my hotel, and then I'm going to get an Uber and then head on over to the museum. I'm really excited because I've heard like amazing things about this museum and it is a little bit further out than I would love to, you know, travel since I just got here yesterday and all that good stuff, but I do think it's gonna be worth the trip. So after that, I'm going to find something delicious to eat. I might even grab like a little snack or something on the way, but yeah, that is what we're doing right now. Here's everything else behind me. My hotel is right back here, the AC Hotel. And then the JW Marriott is right there. And I actually considered staying there. Um, I had a really hard time picking between where I am now, but I ended up going with that one. I might go into the Marriott just to see what it's like to see if I made the right choice or not, but that's it. I will see you guys at the museum. Down over here by my hotel, they have this little area for food and drinks. They've got a bunch of different things. There's actually a Banana Republic down there. 
Um, there's an H&M home. I've never seen this before. They've got a little ice cream place down there that is actually calling my name. I might grab some ice cream. Okay, so I came down here and there's actually a real H&M right here. So it's not just a random H&M home, but these are some of the other stores. I see an Under Armour, Puma. There's a Starbucks over there. Aldo. I don't really want to shop because I don't really have space to bring anything back. But what I am going to do is head on over to this, this ice cream shop. I want to have authentic everything, so I feel bad going to haagen but I feel like ice cream will really just do it for me right now. So I'm here and I did get some ice cream, but I'm being good-ish. So I only got one little scoop. It is caramel biscuit. It's the biscuits that you get on the airplane. I think only Delta does those like Biscoff biscuits and they're so good. And they have an ice cream flavor. It's the same. Mm. So bomb. While I eat this, I'm going to call my Uber to go to the museum. Where to? We are going to Marco Museum. I really love that they have Uber here. Main reason for that is you just never know. Like when you get in a taxi, obviously whether it's a taxi or an Uber, it's still a stranger. So it doesn't really make that big of a difference. But for me, I'm just more comfortable with the Uber because it can be tracked and all of that stuff. So it says two minutes. This is literally right outside of my hotel. It's a trap. I'm going to be here every day. <laughs> Guys, it's literally like an entire mall. <laughs> there's like a whole inside and there's like levels and all of that stuff. I thought it was like a cute little marketplace. It's a whole ass mall. There's actually a chicken spot down there. I don't know how authentic it is because it's in, you know, the shopping area, but I might give that a try. Not right now, because I'm about to head to the museum, but at some point, hard as chicken. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming for you. Hey guys, I'm waiting for my Uber to go to the museum. And why did I meet literally the only other black person in all of Peru? Like, <laughs> I was trying to get some content and this man walks up to me. He's tall, he's got locks, and he's like, you know you work in that dress, right? And I'm like, <laughs> but of course I'm like, who is a stranger? He is from Detroit. He's out here for some home stuff. I don't know, it's a little bit vague. Um, but he wants to hang out at some point. We both leave on the same day. So that's just the most random thing on earth because I literally have not seen a single other black person since I've been out here. And randomly he approached me. So we will see. Let's go to the museum. <laughs> I ordered um, some scallops 
and a Caesar salad. I'm just a Caesar salad girl. Like I always get a Caesar salad. And for lunch, I am trying to decide between the bolo saltado and the short ribs with mashed potatoes. The waiter recommended the short ribs. They're braised for like 16 hours. But you guys know I want to have my bolo saltado. So I don't know. I'm like so torn. I think we're gonna do the lomo saltado because we are in Peru. Like, I can get short ribs anywhere, really. But where else can I get authentic lomo saltado? So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, anyway, I'm gonna stop recording. It's just a little bit awkward. People are looking at me like, who is she? <laughs> Nobody. Um, okay, there's this drinky drink. Oh my gosh, I might have another. Let me not speak too soon. sunset um so i'm waiting for the elevator to come right now but i enjoyed my day the museum was cool the food was delicious everything went really well um i don't think i'm gonna go out tonight just because i'm feeling a little funny but i do have a full day planned for tomorrow all right so we caught that last little bit of the sunset weirdly enough i'm feeling a little bit better um, so I'm not quite sure what I want to do. Maybe I do want to just like take it easy so that tomorrow I can wake up early and you know do what I need to do or maybe we'll go out tonight. Who knows? No, I'm kidding. I want to go and watch the reunion of Love is Blind so I feel like that is the best plan for tonight along with uploading some of my video clips on to my laptop and then yeah tomorrow we'll start fresh. Hopefully I'll you know not be feeling weird at all but yeah it's kind of a cute vibe out here. Everyone's just kicking it. It's like very family friendly and like very pretty. I found out some things about kind of like the lay of the land. You know when you go to a new place and you have no clue like what's what and where's where and you guys know that I didn't exactly plan the best for this trip. But what I found out is that this place right here is called the La Comar like shopping area. That's why I remember earlier I was like oh I think it's like a little market and then I thought it was a mall. It basically is like an indoor outdoor mall and this area where I am right now in Mira Flores is kind of like the touristy kind of like slightly I guess like bougier area. This is where all the people who are not from here are. Another thing that I have noticed is that the people who you know sell jewelry and art and you know little things on the streets are quite aggressive <laughs> from my experience at least maybe it's just me but they're a little bit pushy. Every country you know people have to make their money somehow and especially when it's a tourist area you can understand why they're doing it but for me I normally am just like very I try to be nice about it because I'm you know in their country I don't want to be rude but at the same time I, I can't buy something from every person I come across so they've been just a little extra um, but besides that not too much so anyway again lay of the land this Larkamar uh, shopping area is kind of like I guess the center ish of Mira Flores which is the neighborhood I'm in a little bit south there's another neighborhood called Barranco and it seems like that area is kind of like up and coming there's a lot of like bars and stuff over there so I think I'm gonna go there on Friday night and yeah I'm kind of creating a plan uh, a rough plan but we'll see that's basically what I've got going on good morning guys it's about 10 a.m. and I am about to head on out we are meeting up with the guy from yesterday. We're gonna go to the Inca ruins together. So I don't know how that's gonna go. He seems like a nice enough guy. Don't worry guys, I'm being safe, so I will be fine. 
Um, but yeah, we're going to go there together. And then I have plans to go to the Natural History Museum. There's a botanical garden. And then there are these like water fountains. I want to do that a little bit later on because I heard that they're really cool at night. So I figured I'll go see the sunset over there and then also see the fountains afterwards. So that is the plan for today. I wanted to just show you what I'm wearing. Nothing crazy. It's just um, kind of like a knee length dress along with this bag which is kind of similar to the bag from yesterday this was the bag from yesterday but this one really it's only like handheld whereas this one i can put it over my shoulder so i do kind of like a little bit of the versatility that i'm gonna get with this one for today i do have some shades on um and just some flat sandals nothing crazy same jewelry as yesterday and that is about it i'm excited for today the weather outside is frightful no it's not it's <laughs> very overcast so it's definitely giving gloomy but i think that that's just the thing in peru you know how some places are just kind of gloomy all the time like seattle i wonder if peru is like that because yesterday and today it's been kind of a similar like foggy just not direct sunlight type of weather but maybe because it's early maybe later on it'll improve i'm not sure but once again i'm very happy with my decision that i am not going to be beaching on this trip i do see a couple people on the beach actually so i don't know maybe that's just what it is here today i want to try a chicha morada chicha morada i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it correctly so you guys saw yesterday i had that pisco sour so bomb i'm not gonna lie i did not drink the whole thing because normally when i travel especially when i'm solo i don't like to drink a lot i'll have like a cocktail i'll taste things but i don't necessarily drink the whole drink if that makes sense so i had that yesterday which is like the national liquor of peru i did some research so i did find out um it's actually made out of grapes so the one that i was talking about is the chicha morada that's the one that's purple and it's made out of corn so i'm gonna try to find that at some point today i just want to try it apparently it has a really unique taste and i don't know if i would like it or not but we gonna see so i had my lomo saltado yesterday i do need to get some peruvian chicken at some point so that's that so once again full outfit for the day just a little dress flat sandals bag shades and that's it let's go i got one scoop of the caramel brownie vanilla and then toasted the leche as well it's only supposed to get one scoop but i got two we're gonna go to the incan ruins the incan ruins yes that should be fun. North Amir Flores. The exact name I don't have. I went to the Mayan ruins in, well, technically in Tulum, but maybe a little bit further out. Yeah. That's the name of it. What is it like? 15 minutes? 20? Mm -hmm. Actually, it's more like 10. No, it's 15 from here. some of that behind me we're actually gonna do it like as a tour because you can't really walk around by yourself you have to have a tour guide so that's what we're about to do in a few minutes but it all looks pretty cool just like the intricacies and the architecture and the way like it's all been built I'm sure I'll learn more about the logic behind it and maybe there's a reason to why it is kind of built the way that it is there go my friend up a ramp but yes i am kidding and this is why you should work out folks you don't want to be taking a tour and can't breathe going up like <laughs> look at this guys Some sort. 
It's all in Spanish. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. Oh, brownies. That's in English. Carrot cake. That's in English. Cinnamon roll. Okay. It was really good for the record. I like vegan food apparently. It was just, you know, the stuff that I normally put in my bowls that I make back home, the chickpeas, you know, the veggies, all that good stuff. So it was really, really good. And instead of going to the Natural History Museum, we decided to come over here to this all, I don't think it's called Ball of Park, is it? Do you want to read from the teleprompter or should I read it? Well, I'm going off of what the tour guide said. She was like, there's a really pretty park. It's got olives. There's like a bunch of olive trees everywhere. They're freaking huge. It's really, really pretty. It's like, I don't know, almost giving kind of European, no? Like with the fountain and the bridge. Yeah, all that. Yeah. Cobblestone. We had cobblestone walk coming in here. Yeah. I don't see any olives. Oh yeah, they're here. They are? See that little olive right there? Wow, and there's fish in here. And the turtle. Here. Right there. You don't see on that wood. Oh, Jax loves turtles. <laughs> Thank you, Smooth Sissy. That one's blabbing like a shark. What is it? Magico del Agua, which is basically like a place with a bunch of water fountains and at night there's actually um, a bunch of shows with like lights and all that good stuff. I don't really know what to expect. It just seems like a pretty place to watch the sun go down. Oh, it's behind the shade. <laughs> and I'm just kind of excited to see it. It's really pretty. There's a lot of trees. There's lots of little kids. It's like very family friendly. Very cute over here, so I'm excited to see more of it, and I'll of course show you guys what I can, but that's what it looks like in the back. try it but I'm probably gonna have to either voice it over or you guys will just see what I'm doing because again did not bring the camera I'm tired of holding that camera so that's why we're doing it on my phone and that's that but yeah we're at this place called Pardo's Chicken it kind of gives um like a KFC but like a little bit nicer you know what I'm saying like I'm sure it's a chain so day and I am getting ready to go to my spa day. I'm going to get probably a massage and reflexology. If you don't know, reflexology is basically when you... Ah, there's something on my forehead. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if I got like scratched or something, but it hurts and it does not help when I put this on. I actually, let me just real quick say, I don't know if I told you guys what this is, but it's clindamycin, which is like basically an acne solution and I was prescribed this a long time ago I still use it for like maintenance and I don't really break out very often so I use this twice a day but anyway 
what I was saying is that I want to get reflexology, which is when you get a massage specifically for your feet, which I really like. So I might do like, I don't know, a 60 minute reflexology and then maybe a full body. Part of me too, though, doesn't really want to lay down because I got my lashes filled right before this trip. And when I lay down, they're going to get all crisscrossed and messed up. So I might just do one sitting up where it's just like shoulders and neck. That might be nice. And I don't want them touching my face because I do have really sensitive skin. It wasn't always this way. When I was in, uh, when I was in high school and college, I never had issues with acne. My skin was always super smooth. And then for some reason, when I moved to Atlanta in 2018, I started to have these horrible issues with my skin. I don't know if it was just like adult set acne or if it was the water difference or something. But when I tell you my skin started to freak out, it was just so problematic. Actually, you guys, here's another thing that makes me really nervous to get facials. When it was 20, was it 2019? Early 2019, I got into a car accident. And this is when I had just started my Amazon business. This car accident messed me up so bad. It wasn't like life threatening or anything, but I had a bad like neck and shoulder thing right here. So I was out of work for a little while. And then I went to go get a facial. My skin looked great right after the facial. And then a couple of days later, I got this crazy thing on my face. I have never showed anyone this before. I am gonna put a little screenshot here. It's just scary, so trigger warning. <laughs> but I got this, it turned out to be, I guess like a bacterial infection, I think is my best guess. At first, the urgent care doctor thought it was like shingles. They thought it was all this like crazy stuff. And it turned out that it was a bacterial infection and I had to use these clindamycin pads along with the benzoyl peroxide. And I also had to take doxycycline, which is an oral medication, to try to clear the infection. It took forever to go away. And ever since then, I've just been like very, very cautious about putting anything new on my skin. Anyway, I say all that to say that I am not sure that I want to have them put anything on my skin, like on my face. Right now, I'm just wearing a skittish dress. The gray one, hold on, very simple, just like a maxi dress because it's comfortable, easy to take on and off when I get there. And when I come back, I think I'm going to put on some like athleisure and some sneakers. It's not supposed to be outside as far as I know, but I do want to be comfortable while I'm walking around the museum because I do plan to spend a good amount of time there. So that is probably what I am going to wear, just, you know, like a two piece set, some sneakers. And then I'll come back after the sunset, probably catch a breather and then go back out. Like I'll change into a nighttime outfit. So that is kind of the flow for the day. And that's that. So let me call my mama <laughs> and head on out to the massage. <laughs> was amazing probably top three best massages i've ever had and if you guys don't know every single place that i visit i go to the spa i get a massage it's just my thing it was honestly in kind of like a weird place like the address said that it was an apartment and to me i'm like an apartment i don't know about that but i went on their instagram and everything looked really nice so i was like let me not be judgmental just because i'm not used to it doesn't mean there's anything wrong so i had a little bit of trouble finding the exact location but i was able to figure it out and it was super cute in there I will put some clips in here or maybe you guys already saw some clips of it but you know they did a good job with the ambiance there were a lot of cars outside so noise from the traffic but for me personally I didn't really mind I used to live in New York I I'm used to the noise of traffic and it's honestly kind of not soothing but it's familiar. So I was fine with that. I got reflexology. I had a 50 minute session and then I did a 90 minute full body and that was really relaxing. The girl was so sweet. I left them a really fat tip because that's just what we do when we enjoy the service. Am I right? So that was awesome. I am back obviously and I just got myself ready. I went looking real crusty <laughs> or real crusty. So it might look a little bit dark in here. It is not late at all. I just 
I have to manipulate the light a little bit so that I can see what I'm doing with my makeup because otherwise it just looks crazy. So I know I shouldn't because we're supposed to have everything in moderation. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna go and get another ice cream. <laughs> They're probably so sick of seeing me like, ma'am, are you all right? Why do you keep coming here? It's just so good. There's something about the texture that they have. I don't think that it's how all haagen is because I've had haagen before and it does not hit the way this haagen hits. I have on nothing fancy. It's literally a two-piece set from Lululemon. This is one of their newer designs. I just got it a couple of weeks ago or maybe it's been like a month or so now. All right, you guys, so that's that. I'm gonna head on out and we're gonna go get our ice cream and then head to the museum. All right, so I came downstairs to like the bottom part of the shopping plaza and they have like a lot of stuff down here. They've got another ice cream spot, but they actually also have a boba place, which is right behind me. So I'm gonna get some boba. I'm gonna compare it to American boba and we're gonna see if it competes. They have black sugar, not brown sugar. So I wonder if it's the same thing, but they just like call it that. I'm not quite sure, but I'm gonna try it on now something else. got the boba it's actually really good they call it a black sugar latte for some reason there's no coffee in here i don't know that there's even tea in here to be honest but yeah that's what it is it's actually kind of similar to the brown sugar tiger milk tea not exactly the same but it is really really good the tapioca is like not sweetened though that's one thing about it i like a sweet tapioca ball sure if it's because of the buildings or what but the sun is just about to set right now and um, it's really pretty I think this is one of my favorite spots it's just like very green they've got like cute little bars and restaurants and stuff over here it definitely looks kind of like a tourist attraction for sure good morning it is the next day and the final day of my trip today I don't have any solid solid plans I'm realizing that where I am I haven't really explored like this area I've been so concerned with trying to make sure that I don't only stay near my hotel that I've gone to lots of places that are a little bit further out but I haven't gotten a good you know kind of look at what is close by around me so that's what I'm gonna do today I want to try this restaurant called social restaurant it is in the Hilton I believe it looks really good they had no reservations 
recommendations for tonight so i'm gonna try to just go early i do have to head to the airport around i'll say like 8 30 maybe 9 o'clock my flight is at 11 45 so well it'll take anywhere between like 45 minutes maybe an hour if the traffic is bad to get there so i just want to make sure that i give myself enough time i need to check out of the hotel in about an hour i have packed a lot of my stuff so i'm just doing my makeup and then i'm gonna put everything in my bag i'm gonna leave my suitcase and my carry-on here at the hotel and then i'm gonna go do my little exploring thing i'll come back and then i will head to the airport a little bit later on i already did my eyebrows i'm about to to do the rest of my face so that I can gather my things, check out, and try to go check out that restaurant in a couple of hours. And that's about it. jewelry on per usual my hair is done just kind of curly I put more mousse in it to kind of give it more of like that wet look and this way it just kind of stays more tame a little less like large which I don't mind but um, that's kind of what we're doing right now maybe I'll fluff it out just a little bit but that is that I'm gonna stand up so I can show you guys the outfit I mean it's literally just a maxi dress very simple but it's I have had this dress for a long time. I wear it a lot during the summer, only because it looks like you tried, it looks like you did a little something, but it's literally just a maxi dress. I think the cut is flattering, little slit, you know, gives a little bit of something, and it goes all the way to the ground, so I do like it. The reason that I'm dressed up a little bit, I was gonna just wear jeans and a top, but I'm gonna try to get into that like really nice restaurant, and I don't want them to look at me and be like, Nair, because you're just too casual. I know they would never say that, but I just want to be able to make it as easy as possible. And living in Las Vegas, I know the power of being dressed up a little bit when it comes to these places. Even though some of you might be looking at me like, girl, you are casual. <laughs> no, you should see how people are dressed. That is casual, which is totally fine. I mean, you don't have to dress up. I'm just saying that's the reason why I'm wearing this, even though it's like literally the afternoon. But this is the dress that I wore the other day with that black dress I was gonna do like an over-the-shoulder black bag this cute little guy but I feel like it makes it look too nighttime if I do this because it's like black you know it gives more of like it's dinner time where this is more just like casual daytime vibes I am going to finish packing up my stuff it's not looking too bad right now I've got to be out in about 30 minutes I'm gonna go drop my things off downstairs for them to hold my bags and then I'll probably explore a little bit before I go and try to scam my way into <laughs> um getting into that restaurant so we do definitely have options for lounges so hopefully if it's not too loud in there i can kind of like recap the trip a little bit for you guys before i get on my flight to go back to vegas because i'm sure by the time i get home which will be at 11 30 vegas time and i'm leaving here at 11 45 peru time so it's gonna be a long long trip so i might just be over it when i get back but either way yeah let's just let's just go <laughs>
basically packed. I've got everything in my luggage down there. I've got my change of clothes for the airport, which is literally what I wore here. I always do that. Same airport outfit there, same airport outfit back to minimize the amount of space that we take up. Everything is pretty clean. I don't know why. I just have this thing where if I'm staying in a hotel, I never leave it a mess. Like I'm never gonna leave it gross. It's just, I don't know. I like literally can't help it. So yeah, I cleaned up a little bit. I've got all the dirty towels on the floor. Bathroom is still, I mean, pretty clean. And then this that I wore here, there was like a little stain right here. It's actually a really long story. <laughs> long story short, when I was driving to the airport, my hands were feeling real ashy. And so what did I decide to do? Put on some lotion. But because I was driving, I couldn't really focus on what I was doing. I don't know how in the world, but I ended up putting honey mustard that was in my glove compartment. And I literally rubbed in the honey mustard as if it was lotion. I remember I was smelling my hands and I was like, that smells weird. Like, why does it not smell good because I know what this lotion smells like this doesn't smell good when I got to the airport that is where I realized that it was honey mustard and this is when I was running late and all that's just a hot mess so anyway there was a little dribble of honey mustard that got on there so I washed it out this morning because I totally forgot about it when I got here I should have done it sooner so that it wouldn't leave a stain but I think I got it for the most part but it's still wet so I'm actually going to take the iron and hit this with the iron so hopefully it will dry it out so that I can put it in my bag I know that if I put it in like this it's just never gonna dry so that's what I'm gonna do that's the final thing and other than that I am pretty much ready to go I'm gonna miss Peru so much this place is so pretty I don't know that I will come back here not because I didn't love it but because there's so many other places on my list that I want to see that are even close to here you know like Ecuador and I'd love to go to Argentina there's a bunch of places on my list so I don't know that I will be back to Peru if I'm being honest but I had a ball and that's that let me finish putting everything together zipping myself up ironing that wet spot out and then I'm gonna go and walk the streets I'm on my walk to the Hilton and look at this insanely spectacular is that the word it's um a church i believe but it's like just huge for some reason to me i'm like astounded by the size let me show it to you hey guys i just stumbled across this cute little farmer's market type of thing with fresh fruits and veggies how cute It's bigger than I thought. I wonder if it's just like an outdoor supermarket or something. I don't know why this is very 14th Street in New York. <laughs> Butter? Yes, it's a pumpkin butter. Butter flavored with pumpkin global pumpkin. Okay, interesting. Okay, <laughs> thank you. I hate myself, but I feel like I want the scallops again. I'm not gonna lie to you. The scallops are so good at that museum, but maybe I should not. They have clams here, they've got ceviche. You know, I haven't tried a ceviche since I've been here. I'm just not like a huge ceviche girl. My best friend loves ceviche, so when I'm with her, I eat it and I enjoy it, but I don't really thing to get it myself. I'm thinking I'm gonna do the octopus. I know it's gonna be a lot of food, but what if I just get it to try, you know? I can try the ceviche, I can try the octopus, and get the salad, and get the duck. There's no way I'm gonna eat it all, but at least then I won't feel hungry. My flight isn't until 11.45, it's 2 p.m. right now, so if I get a lot to eat, then at least it'll hold me over until I get my meal on the plane. So you know what? I'm not gonna feel bad about it. Judge me if you want to, but I told you I was here for the food. I feel bad because I feel like the waiters don't want to interrupt me, so do I want a cocktail or do I just want water? People on the street are looking at me like I'm insane. I'm not insane, I'm just talking to my friends. <laughs> you guys are the friends. I'm happy with this decision. Hopefully it's good. 
be back when the food comes because I want my battery to run out. So I really have not drank much on this trip at all. It's just been like, you know, trying the stuff that is like native to Peru. But for my drink, I think I want to do a Maya cooler and it's tequila, pineapple, and passion fruit, cucumber, and ginger beer. Hi, thank you. Thank you. And for the drink, yep, I'm going to do the Maya cooler. Yes, okay. thank you. I may have a straw for that and a straw for this too. Thank you. So as much as I want to wait for everything to come out so I can get like, you know, a nice everything picture, I'm gonna try this. Mostly because there's like something that's fried that's like in liquid and I don't want it to get all soggy. I want to like be able to try it for what it is, so let's go ahead. It's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna try the fried thing, whatever it is. partially in the like lemon sauce juice thing. Mm. It's corn. It's nice because it's crunchy. Okay, let's take a sip of the drink. Actually, that's for sure. It's really good. It is not strong at all. Like, I don't really taste a lot of liquor, which is a good thing or a bad thing, depending on <laughs> how you look at it. But there's sweet potato all the way at the bottom, which I don't really like, but. <laughs> I want to like sweet potato. It doesn't taste good. It just does not taste good. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I don't know why I took such a big bite. potatoes in here and also sausage.
guys, I'm all done with lunch. It was so good, but I didn't really like their dessert options. And so I have a dilemma right now. Do we go all the way back to the museum to get that tres leches cake? Because that was so bomb. Even though I'm pretty sure there's like 2000 calories in that thing, <laughs> it was delicious. And again, I don't think I'll ever be back in Peru. So it's like, this is really my only other chance to have it. They also had a creme brulee. If you don't know, creme brulee is my literal favorite dessert on earth. So I'm thinking maybe it's worth the trip to go back. Or maybe I should just get something that's like, you know, in the area that I'm in right now because I'm about to walk the side of Miraflores that I haven't even seen yet because I've been just all over going to all the different museums and stuff. So I think the best thing to do would be to see what options I have over here. And if I am not inspired by something sweet, we may or may not just go all the way back to the museum to get dessert. One thing I really love about countries outside the US, I noticed this in Europe too, especially in Spain, is that they actually take their weekends to relax. Like in the US, I feel like it's very much a culture of like hustling and 24 seven, go to work. Like when you go eat a meal, you're doing it quickly, everything's fast. But here it just seems like such a slower pace, but in the best way possible, like people actually take the time to rest and enjoy the time that they're not working it's just kind of like a different perspective on leisure people are just hanging out with their kids they're just like chilling by the water i think that's beautiful you'll have to talk that's okay i'll okay, talk okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys i just met this beautiful girl carolina she lives here in peru and we just kind of passed each other and said hi and here we are so we're still on the coast kind of looking at everything it's so gorgeous just kind of wanted to show you guys the people in peru are very nice even though she's <laughs> colombian but it's just amazing how friendly people can be in other countries so that is that hi Okay, you guys, so instead of going all the way back to the museum for that cake, I decided to just get a boba instead. A lot better of an option as far as, I mean, this isn't healthy, but I'm sure it is less fattening than that cake that I was going to go and get. I am going to move to go to the airport in a little while. I'm just like hanging out right now. Then I'm going to go and change into my airport outfit. I am realizing that because it's the weekend, there are so many people out and about. Like the entire time I've been here, I've not seen this many people at one time. And and obviously it's the weekend so that makes a lot of sense. golden hour the sun is setting and I'm so sad to be leaving this place <laughs> I'm excited to see Jax but it's just been such a nice relaxing trip sad that this is the last time I get to see the sunset but excited for whatever is coming next I don't know where we're going next but you guys will see stay tuned but I'm going to basically just show you this last bit of the sunset and then that's a wrap for Lima Peru Thank you.